dating rules for the girls, part seven. Things like this cannot happen in dating. You need to be so firm in your standards that they are requirements, not preferences. I see girls all the time on TikTok talking about the standards that they have, but then telling me the experience that they just had in dating that goes completely against those standards. So they're not actually a standard because a standard is the bare minimum of what you will accept. This is the standard. So you might prefer to have those things, but you don't require to have those things. So your requirements, boundaries, values, morals, needs, desires, none of those things can waver. And guess what? If they do waver because you have feelings for someone who goes against those things, then that guy already proves to not be for you because the guy who is for you will be compatible with you. So you won't have to change those things. And even if there are a couple of things that you don't align on because not everybody has the exact same standards and boundaries and all that sort of stuff, he will at least respect them and you won't have to change yours. It's very easy to start out with a complete stranger feeling confident and secure. But then as soon as they're not a stranger anymore and you start to develop feelings, now you find yourself thinking like, eh, maybe my needs aren't that important. But you can't do that. This is the real test of seeing can you stay true to yourself? How much self-love, self-care, and self-respect do I actually have? This is when you really find out. And spoiler alert, if he makes you feel like you have to compromise on these things, it's not gonna work out. Your husband would never.